My name is Elsid. I'm, uh, I'm an artist who use calligraphy as my main medium. So most of my work is actually in the, in the street, in the public space. And I try to, I always write messages that are relevant to the place where I'm painting with my own style of uh, calligraphy. I've always been painting, since I'm a kid I was painting and drawing, but uh, I never followed uh, an arti artistic path, so I didn't uh, study art. I went to business school, but uh, art actually cut me back. And actually 10 years ago, I, I, I used to be a business consultant and I, I decided to quit my job just to focus into my art. And since then I'm, I'm doing that and I love it. I started in the late 90s graffiti in Paris, but I was not serious about it. And actually when I discovered calligraphy, that's how I brought it into my graffiti practice. And, and without knowing it, I was developing a style of calligraphy that I'm known for today. And it was a kind of, uh, it was a, a tool, calligraphy become a tool for me to reconcile my French identity and my Tunisian identity. And so today I, I don't even question myself if I'm Tunisian or French or French or Tunisian. Calligraphy was first used in the US in the late 70s and then early 80s there was a Jeffrey Deitch, he organized a show in, Paris, in New York where he brought some calligrapher and some graffiti artists and he put them together in the same show and he said like in a few years those two practices will merge and then he did calligraphy 30 years later in 2013 and, um, and for me today like he just lost his, his meaning in the words because People, they just draw something on paper, like a freestyle calligraphy, and they say it's calligraphy. When actually, like, the practice started in the street, it's a mix between calligraphy and graffiti technique. I think public art is, is, that's what I love the most about public art and painting, actually, in the street, is the fact that you, you interact with the people and with the place where you're working, you know, um, and you bring art to people. You don't bring people to art, like, uh, for example, a museum or a gallery will be like that.